Hello, Blake Rudis here with Everyday HDR and HDRinsider.com, and today I'm gonna to show you a flash tutorial, meaning I'm gonna show you a really cool topic in under three minutes. This one is color grading. So the first thing we need to do is go and open a uh, gradient map down here. And what the gradient map is going to do is it's going to map out your image based on the tones that you're telling it. So right now, this looks like a red and white image because my color palette had red and white in it. But if I click here, I can now change this to something like black and white or any color for that matter. But what it's doing is it looks really bad because the way it's mapping out the colors. So you need to use the blending options in conjunction with the gradient map. So let's just go ahead and select this one. I'll press OK. And if you see down here, we have our blending options. We have many different blending options, and there are many different ones that work very well for this. You can change it to color so that the residual colors adapt to the image. You can also change it to something like soft light or even overlay for some really kind of dramatic look and feel. However, that's still a little too much. So what I like to do is actually drop the opacity all the way down to zero and slowly work my way back up. No matter what blending option I'm using, I always drop it down to zero and work this up from there. And now you can see we get some really interesting kind of colors going on with this image. And we're not restricted to just this red and yellow type of effect. In Photoshop CC, if you go up here in this little gear, you have many different types of gradients that you can add to your gradient palette. So if you click on one of these like color harmonies or photographic toning, it's going to load your palette with more gradients. So you can click all kinds of different gradients to get a color graded effect on your image. So why do you color grade? Well, color grading does a very good job of combining uh, kind of the the whole color feel of your image all together so that if you're compositing and you've got two color temperatures that are kind of off what this is doing is if you look down here this is the black area and this is the white area so if we go down to say this one now we have a more black and white style image if i change this to normal and bring the opacity all the way up this is a black and white photo so here is all the black area so if you want the black areas to look blue well, then you just change that to blue. If you want the white areas to be, say, cream, well, then you just change that to a cream looking color. And now you have a blue and cream type of effect that you can then add with your color and blending options here. And again, drop that opacity down and work your way up. So there's a before, there's the after. You can change any color you want here and really create some dynamic effects with color grading in under three minutes. Again, my name is Blake Rudis with Everyday HDR and HDRinsider.com. This was color grading in under three minutes. If you like it, please comment on it, share it, and definitely subscribe because there's more of these tutorials coming your way. Thank you.